What up you beautiful fuckers and welcome back to Pro Cycling Manager 2019 for the episode number something. Uh, I, I'm gonna go on a limb and say episode... It depends. It depends if this goes before the episode uh, with Rondon and Paroubet or if it goes after. I believe it goes after. So if it does go after... Uh, that would mean that this is indeed episode numero 9. No? Nope, it's not. What is it? I don't know. I think it's 9. Anyway, uh, that was one of my best intros ever, so we'll move on. It's Sulia Basque Country today uh, on the menu. We're not going to have Matima Orange because you're out of fitness, boy. We'll have Rafael Valls. Um, I think it's just just hills, if I, co if I uh, remember correctly. It is indeed. Oh, there's two sprint stages. Okay, yeah, I mean, it's not exactly sprint, though. Uh, so we'll have Peyo Bilbao. Herman Panchana, you're absolutely injured, mate. So, no. Uh, Sonny called Brelli. Why not? Uh, who's unhappy about his race days? Nobody except Peyo Bilbao. Yeah, mate, you've got zero race days, I'm aware. Alright, there's no need to make a fuss about it. Uh, let's have, let's have Moss, let's have, uh, I don't know. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Uh, who should I bring? Who should I bring? Uh, let's bring Enrico Batalin. Yeah, sure. Have that. Aye. Uh, nah, fuck you. Let's have Jan Tratnik. I'm so indecisive. It's horrendous to watch. Anyway, first time trial. Uh, actually, first stage of this tour. Tumaraga, Tumaraga. It's a time trial. Um, we're going to have Peo Blo as leader for this GC. And Peo Blo is 30 year old. That's not something I expected. Uh, actually, we could also have Damien Caruso in case. But either way... Let's go in Basque Country for the first stage of this Paris Vasco Tour. All right, first rider to leave uh, Zumaraga for us is going to be Rafael Valls. Uh, I fully forgot how to do this time trial. The last time I did it was with Sunweb. Uh, if I remember correctly, I won. Did I? Wait. It was either with Wilco Kellerman or Tom Dumoulin. No, I don't think I brought I don't think I brought Dumoulin on these roads. I think it was Kellerman. And the time trial had been won by Egan Bernal ahead of me, I think. I can't remember. My my memory is so odd right now. I can't remember shit. Uh, but anyway, Rafael Valles is on the road. Uh, current leader in Zumaraga is Garin Thomas. Ahead of Marc Soler, Luis Leon Sanchez, Leo Vincent and Stefan Rossetto. Um, we've got a Monagas uh, rider from Monaco in 16th place right now. Victor Langelotti, big up. Uh, make that 17th place right now. Rafael Valls in the uh, climb now. We're following Brian van Goethen. Uh, and we are followed by Oscar Rodriguez for Astana. Alright, let's make sure that uh, we do well in this little hill. Because if I'm correct, I don't need to use any kind of energy left in the final... Uh, f like, as soon as I cross the summit, I'm pretty sure like the time trial is over. Um, but Rafael Valls is going to catch Brian van Goethen in... Uh, well, I was about to say a French word. Um, but yeah, we're going to catch him soon. Actually, we're going to catch him now. Uh, but I think that may have pushed him a bit too much. Maybe a little too much here for Rafael Valls. Uh, who starts the descent towards Zumaraga ahead of Brian Van Gotten. Uh, to be fair, he's, he does have 57 in mountain. So it is logical that I overtake him. Who's ahead of me? It's Guiz Van Hook. Alright. Rafael Valls, final kilometer for him. Uh... Ah, it turns out I managed the time trial rather well uh, for my first time back on this. And it's going to be a 7th position, 1 minute behind Garen Thomas. Alright, decent start of our co-leader and he's not on a good day. However, someone who's on a good day is Chris Froome because he's 26 seconds quicker than Garen Thomas. And, I mean, yeah. Like, 6th place is already a minute down and it's Mark Soler. And Mark Soler is better than all of my riders on this tour. So I'm really not optimistic regarding my chances of uh, a good performance on this Paris Vasco Tour, knowing that there is still someone like Alaphilippe, Primoz Roglic, Schachmann, Bernal, Carapaz, Dennis. Like, why do you have so many good riders? Why? Why do you need to have that many riders on a reel? That's, piss that, that's pissing. That's so French. That's pissing me off. Uh, Dennis is going to be leaving soon as well for uh, Foyneus, but we've got Dominic Caruso on the road right now. Uh, we are behind Roger Clujeux, so we'll most likely overtake him in the climb. 
Yevgeny Gidic is behind us, so he's most likely not going to overtake me in the climb. Uh, who's that? We've got Jakobs. Oh, Janhardt. Janhardt overtaking Johan Jakobs, the Swissman for, uh, from Movistar. All right, go on, Daniel Caruso. Overtake Roger Kluge. Nice job. We'll just go in times two in the, uh, in the meantime. Uh, well, for the time being, sorry. There we go. We're going to cross the summit of this little hill. Uh, see, so yeah, I'm going to guess that's a church on the right. Uh, the Antiochina. Okay, nice. Uh, right, in the descent with Domenico Rizzo. Minus two. All right, we need to remember that. Jan has finished in 13th position. He was having a decent time trial, um, the, uh, the the Czech rider. And Domenico Caruso across, uh, across the line, it's going to be fifth place, 56 seconds behind Chris Froome. Imagine being fifth and already being a minute down when mm, the leader of the team isn't gone. Yeah, that's horrendously frightening. Where's Ron Dennis? Oh, look, he's in first place. All right, and uh, start for Peyo Bilbao. It's first race day of the season is going to be this time trial uh, on his turf. Uh, in the meantime, Emmanuel Buchmann has finished his time trial in second place, which means that in the top five, there is four riders for Ineos and one Bora. Ineos are still in the lead. Though. Egan Bernal, disappointing third place for him. I'm, I was expecting him to finish much higher, but we all know that despite having five riders in the top, four riders in the top five, they'll lose to Primoz Roglic. Because it's Primoz Roglic. <laughs> and, I mean, there's no way around. Actually, it could be Alaphilippe, though. Uh, but yeah, we've got Pueblo on the road. Uh, he'll definitely be our leader on this Basque country regarding his time trial. Uh, it'll be between him, between him sorry, and um, Domino Caruso. But yeah, Bilbao is going to start now. The uh, Alto Badia. Nope. The uh, Antiogena. That's nearly the same thing. Uh, we've got William Barta. Uh, oh, decent time again for uh, Carlos Betancourt. Antoine Benoit, though. I don't know you. Looks like the, the game doesn't know you either. Because your stats are honestly so dead. I, this is this is peak. Pio Bilbao, uh, sorry, Pio Bilbao overtaking Jasper de Boost. Uh, Alright, what are we saying? Are we saying higher than Domino Caruso or not? I'd love to say yes. I'd love to say yes we'll finish higher than Domino Caruso. But I cannot confirm it, nor deny it. What I can say though, we're on the descent with Pio Bilbao. I may have used a bit too much energy at the summit of the climb, uh, which I might regret. Hopefully not. Chris Froome still in the lead. He's not going to get threatened at all by, uh, by Pio today. But across the line for Mr. Bilbao. And it's 7th place, 38 seconds behind Chris Froome. You know what? I'll happily take that. I really will take that. Well, because five, 4 Ineos in the top 5 wasn't enough. How about 5 in the top 6? Andre Amador has overtaken Gary Thomas. And that's fucking peak. Um, all the leaders are now crossing the line. So Nicole Brady is the first one to do so. 2-11 to, to behind. Yoni Zagere is 16th position. David Godu. We'll finish in position numero 12. All right, we're still in the top 10 right now with uh, with Payable Bow, but we can only be overtaken once if I want to finish there. Dan Martin is not going to get in the top 10. Nope, not even in the top 20. He's 1 minute 11 behind. Davide Formolo for UAE can have a decent chances, uh, sorry, decent chances on this tour, uh, but not on this time trail. 28th place, 117 behind. Michael Woods is most likely going to be uh, further down the order as well. The uh, Canadian from EF, 122 behind. Adam Yates making his entry in the top 10, most likely. Yep, 10th position, 43 seconds. Bauke Molema will be uh, in a chance as well to uh, overtake Peyo Bilbao. Can he take Bilbao's position? No, he cannot. 15th place, 54 seconds. Richard Carapaz is already here, and that's going to be second place for Richard Carapaz. Nice. Bilbao drops one position. Um, knowing that Roglic is still here, uh, will most likely will finish between 11th and 13th, I believe. Maximian Schachmann across the line for Bora Hansgrohe. It's going to be 28th. Primus Roglic. It's third. Eight seconds behind Chris Froome. Oh, that's huge. I mean, that's that's extremely weird. Not huge, but just weird. And Alaphilippe across the line. 
13th place. Chris Froome wins this time trolling Zumaraga ahead of Richard Carapaz, Primus Roglic, Ebegan Bernal, Buchmann, Ron Dennis, Andrea Amador, Geraint Thomas, Richie Bort, and Enric Mas. That is six riders for in, from Ineos in the top eight. So they have one more rider, I believe, in their team. Uh, that's mad. That's mad. Uh, but we finish in 11th place with Pierre Bilbao. That's already uh, something I can take. Stage 2 of uh, the um, Itzulia Babas country. We definitely can win this with Sonny Colbert today. This is a stage written for him. Uh, the same way that uh, Luca Mesgetch was on fire during Catalonia, today is a stage for Colbert. Uh, obviously, we'll have to fight the likes of Philippe. But apart from him, I don't see a lot of competition for the sprints. Um, I mean, I'm, I'm just like scrolling around here. Um, Christopher Alvorsen. He's a decent sprinter. Um, that's about it. That's about it. So yeah, called ready, mate. It's, it's all up to you today. Right, we're gonna make our train for the final sprint today. Um, Richie Port just crashed. Richie Port, ninth place of the GC, has just crashed. Goodbye, Richie. All of your hopes of winning something are gone. Well done. Well done. There's nothing better than a... I mean, there, is there anything more real than Richie Paul crashing when he's in a good position in the GC? I don't believe so. Um, Dominic Carrizo doing a very good job uh, at destroying my entire team before the sprint. Decent. Alright, two riders still in the lead. Uh, Christian Rodriguez and Stefan Rossetto. They're gonna be dead eventually. There we are. There they go. Alright, I remember this sprint, uh, and I remember winning it with some of my riders. Uh, actually, I'm pretty sure I had like done a 1-2, if I'm correct, with Sunweb. So, let's try to uh, reiterate said performance today. We'll definitely be fighting, uh, sprinting, sorry, sorry for Sonny Colbrelli today. It just makes sense. 59 riders in this uh, peloton. We're going to take a left-hander, and then uh, a left again. And then a right, I believe. There we go. And there goes Gregabolle for the final sprint. Ryan Gibbons is in my wheel. We're going to launch our effort right now with Sonny Colbrelli. With 700 meters on the clock. And Colbrelli is going to hold on until the line. There we are. It's a win today for Sonny Colbrelli. Ahead of Jasper Le Bust. Pedro Bilbao, who takes a very nice third place. Schachmann, Carapaz, Alaphilippe, Gibbons. Uh, and then there's a little group here, and then there's another group here. I don't believe that they'll count gaps. If they do, this stage could be a madness in the GC. But Colbrelli and Peo Bilbao finish respectively in first and third position today. A very good day for Baron McLaren. And they counted gaps. They counted gaps from 18th position onwards, which means that Chris Froome, who was leading the GC, is gone. Rafa Mike is gone. Uh, Bernal... Garen Thomas, Andre Amador, so all the Ineos guys that were ahead of me are dead. Uh, so just Carapaz from Ineos has made them the first group. GC-wise, it's, it's fully changed. Because it's Carapaz taking the lead ahead of Primoz Roglic, Emmanuel Buchmann, Henrik Mas, Peyo Bilbao, and then Chris Froome. What an L for, for Ineos today. What an incredible L. Right, stage 3. Of this uh, Italia Basque Country Tour. We've done well yesterday. Uh, let's hope we have the same result today with a win of Sonny Colbrelli in uh, Balis. And yeah, I've got nothing else to do. So, or nothing else to say. See you for the final sprint, I believe. 13 kilometers remaining, uh, and we're about to uh, approach the final uh, sprint. There's been a crash involving Chris Hamilton, I think. Uh, Sam Moment. Wait, why is the entire Sunweb team waiting? Oh, no. Don't tell me Sunweb are waiting for Chris Ball. No. That's so sad. Sam Moment, you're still not this far off the pace. Like, you can still try to fight for something. Why do you wait for your sprinter? Does that mean the entire Sunweb team is now gone? Yep. Yep, they have. Fucking brilliant. All of that for nothing. Right, well, uh, let's make our sprint our sprint train either way. Jan Tratnik behind Caruso, Caruso behind Rafael Valls, 12 kilometers to go. And here we go. Alright, uh, there is still a breakaway, which I had not seen. Fuck me. 
Stefan Rossetto, Brent Buchholzer, Tosh van der Sander, and it's an attack here from uh, the... Uh, was he super combative of the Tour de France? No, I don't think he was. But he was extremely combative during the Tour de France. Stefan Rossetto, uh, Buchholzer and Tosh van der Sander are bridging the gap. Crash! Crash from Jan Tratnik. Jan Tratnik has uh, tasted the ground. So has Ilnur Zakarin and Remco Evenepoel. Hopefully it's not too bad. For, um, for our Slovenian rider, uh, let me just see if Kondrelli is indeed in the wheel. Yes, he is. Jan Tratnik, is he going to go back on his back? Indeed, he does. So does Zakarin and Remco Evenepoel. Okay, we're going to lose a few positions with Jan Tratnik in the GC, but I honestly couldn't care less. Uh, it's a shame, though, because he was going to be an important, an integral part of my train. Um, wait, what's the red jersey? What's red? Is it Rory Sutherland? Okay, it is. I said it could have been like, I don't know, another GC leader, but no. 5k to go. Uh, I'm going to make one switch. There we go. It's Pio Bilbao who will be in, uh, in second place in my train. If he can go at the fucking front, thank you. Let's go, Peyo, mate. Peyo, what are you doing? Mate, take the fucking wheel. Uh, why are you struggling to do that? Like, why is you struggling to take the wheel of someone? There we go, nice. There goes Pilbibo for the sprint. We, may, we might catch the break. We might catch the break away here. Very good job from Gregor Bolle. It's going to be a sprint between uh, Team Merlier, Christopher Alvorsen, and Sonny Coldrelli. There goes Sonny Coldrelli. Can we hold on until the line? There are some uh, decent riders, non-sprinters behind us. The likes of Schachmann and Alaphilippe. But it's no big deal because Sonny Coldrelli gets back-to-back -back wins on this Italia Bas country. Andrea Vendramé, Julien Alaphilippe, Mike, uh, Maximilian Schachmann complete the top four. And Enrique Mas in fifth position, uh, West Pé Bilbao. Is there absolutely brilliant? Uh, Jan Tratnik is going to lose a, a billion positions, but to be fair, there might not be any gap. Is that Rafa Maika? Oh, yeah, uh, there might be a Rafa Maika dropped again. That might have happened. All right, two and two for Sonny Colbrelli, Van Dramme à la Philippe, uh, à la Fi wait, no, Van Dramme à la Philippe and Schachmann. Bolle in ninth position, Peo Bilbao is somewhere there. Any gaps? Indeed, there are gaps. Rafa Maika loses 1 minute and 40 seconds. I was about to say that this is big for Bora, but no, it's not because they've got Buchmann and Schachmann. So, um, yeah, it's not, it's no big deal, actually. All right, next up, uh, Vitoria Arigoyariaga is going to be another shit show, I believe. Uh, I, uh, I have to uh, interrupt this recording because this is extremely sad. Mark Cavendish will be starting his last season. This is the final year we'll have with Mark Cavendish. And if we take a look at his current form and current um, season with us, he hasn't won shit. So we need to change that. I'm not having Mark Cavendish retiring without a good performance this year. I said I was going to have him winning the green jersey. This might be the most ambitious thing I've ever said on any PCMs. All right. And I've won the Vuelta with a guy with a 72 mountain. Even, uh, I didn't think that was possible, but I did it. Which is why I believe that Mark Cavendish can still do well. But I'm going to need to have every single PCM god on my side. Dropping crashes in there. Like, Ronewegen, gone. Um, Gaviria, gone. All them guys, gone. I, I want a sprint between Mark Cavendish and Chun Kai Feng. That's the kind of a position I'd like to have. Uh, but yeah, that's uh, the end of this uh, small interruption. It's to the Basque Country Stage 4. Here you come. All right, we're on the way uh, for the fourth stage of this, this. I need to stop taking my French accent, that's mad. Um, yeah, fourth stage of the Italia Basque Country between Vittoria Gasteis and Arigoyaga. There we go. 160 kilometers today on the program. Um, it's a stage that I could see us win. If I'm honest, uh, we're going to send someone in the break. We're going to send Jan Tratnik in the break away. Uh, I reckon he's got like a good chance of topping uh, like the, the, the break should uh, should we go to the end. So yeah, we'll send Jan Tratnik and just so that I can take some uh, some mountain points in the meantime. 
we currently have uh, a four-man group at the front. We've got Mikhail Reim for uh, Israel Startup Nation. Something or someone, De Bont for Alpes in Phoenix. Kevin Jonietz for FDG. Enrico Gasparotto, the new uh, Swiss man for NTT. Uh, and then we've got a uh, chasing group of two riders with Stefan Rossetto and Jan Tratnik. Oh, Peloton spacing. Who's pacing? Nils Ekoff, Riesbeck. Why? I don't. I, I get. I mean, I'm guessing Sunweb spacing because they don't have anyone at the front, which I mean, makes sense. But why was um, Alpes and Phoenix spacing? Oh, weird. I don't know. Uh, but anyway, we are currently living a life. Wait, do I only have six riders on this tour? Did I lose someone? Or did I literally... I just went with six riders. Mad, okay. Weird. Uh, it's not like me, but why not? Uh, meanwhile, Tratnik and uh, Rossetto have bridged the gap with uh, the leading group. There are some attacks in the peloton yet again. We've got uh, Alexis Goujar trying to follow Tobias Ludwigsen, Danny Navarro, and Ilnur Zakarin. No, I disagree with you, mate. Don't do that. We've got Oskar Riesbeck, Ignaz Askunovalovas, uh, Sam Oman. What do you mean? What's happening here? We've got a crash in the peloton. Crash involving Damiano Caruso. Uh, he fell with uh, Dario Cataldo in Jos van Emden. We're going to try and uh, come back in the first, uh, well, in the peloton. Peloton that's fully stopped pacing. Um, and the gap is now 5 minutes and 20 seconds for the breakaway. Breakaway of 10 riders, including, sadly, Ilnor Zakarin. Um, I, I mean... I've got the edge on him, uh, on like, hills, with Jan Tratnik, with my plus two. But apart from that, I'm, I'm not exactly confident here. Meanwhile, there's a climb uh, that we're going to start right now, the uh, climb of Lath Campas Gaina. Let's try to uh, take uh, a high position in the breakaway, obviously. The mountain leader is here, in Stefan Rossetto. He's currently... Oh, there's a, he fucking crashed again. That's now two crashes in a row for Domenico Russo. A lot of riders have fallen as well. Let's just make sure that... Uh, I mean, let's hope that he doesn't withdraw. But let's also make sure that Jan Tratnik gets uh, some uh, good points uh, on this climb. Reim struggling to uh, follow. Kevin Jonietz, I believe, will make a move very soon here. Stefan Rossetto is the first one to make his move, which is rather logical. We're going to follow his attack. Okay, let's be immediately in the wheel of uh, the Coffee Dish Rider. And we're going to uh, um, attack right now. Surely we have enough now to overtake him. Uh, it's going to be a very close call, but I believe we'll get three points. Yeah, we got first place there. Uh, Wes Caruso is in a huge group. Um, a lot of riders have crashed. Mark Soler uh, is like the biggest name. Uh, Alright, but we should be able to catch the peloton uh, and come back. There we have. Right, I'm jumping rather late uh, on the attack here on Alexis Goujar. Uh, Zakarin is already here with Stefan Rossetto as, uh, I mean, as expected. Let's uh, try to counter-attack now. I don't know if we'll be able to overtake Alexis Goujar. He is a decent rider in hills. Uh, nope. We, we easily, uh, easily get him. That's now 6 points for Jan Tratnik. Three points behind Stefan Rossetto. There is still 13 points to take today. Whoever will finish in first place at the first category climb will, well, can potentially take the lead in the mountain classification. All right, Zakarin has honestly accelerated so much. I can't get to the front of the group. I'm pacing 88. Oh, there's another crash in the peloton involving Guillaume Martin, Hugo Hull, Michael Valgren. I know Adam Yates was caught up in an incident earlier, um, but he managed to stay on the bike. A Van der Poel crash, but it's his brother. Okay. Uh, Zakarin is still pacing. We're still keeping up with him. Uh, slowly losing energy. But, I mean, uh, that was to be expected in uh, this climb of Bikoch Gane. There goes the move that I was expecting. Ilno Zakarin has attacked, and he has now dropped Kevin Jonietz, Stefan Rossetto, Alexis Goujar, Mikel Valgret, no, sorry, Enrico Gasparotto, and myself. I'm just going to maintain my rhythm. I'm going to maintain my rhythm. I know for sure that these guys won't be able to overtake me. At least I don't think they can. Uh, Stefan Rossetto is currently overtaking me, so I guess my statement 
is now well and truly false. Uh, go on, Jan. All right, we're going to take the lead um, just ahead of Stefano Sonnelli. He attacks me here. Nope, he doesn't. Okay, and with that in mind, that's now me with 15 points. No, that's 14 for me and 15 for Rossetto. For fuck's sake, he's leading by one. Okay, uh, however, the gap is five minutes over the peloton. Uh, peloton in which I dropped a lot of positions, so we're going to try and make sure that we don't get dropped massively here. Uh, I'd like some riders like Sonny Colbody to stay rather high in the group. Same for Pierre Bilbao, who's my GC leader. Because um, we could potentially try and fight for the win here with Jan Hatnik. Wow. Richie Paul just crashed with Garen Thomas, Fabio Aru, Robert Rezink, and if I'm not mistaken, Mr. Port is out of the race. So Richie Port was, has started this tour well. He then crashed on stage two, I think, or three, I can't remember. And now he's out of the race. Brilliant. Brilliant. Excellent, excellent job from uh, from Richie Porter. Uh, in the meantime, we've got Caruso, Bilbao, and um, and Vals in the main peloton. Uh, Caruso, mate, if you wouldn't mind like going at the front of the peloton, I'd love that. Uh, and then we have a group fifth, or oh, actually a minute behind, with Gregor Bolle and um, Sonny called Brelli. Uh, should we... Will we win? Three minutes. I reckon we have a very solid chance of winning this race today. And the question is now, how do I play it? Because I could easily try to like sprint. I'm by far the fastest rider here. Uh, so I could win a sprint, but I could also like wait until the climb. I'm, I'm going to need to like be really, really smart about my decisions. Uh, also, Caruso, oh, okay, Vals has crashed. Rafael Vals has crashed. That's my third crash of the day now. Let's just hope that Rafael is uh, in a decent condition. Someone has attacked in the group up ahead. Uh, Zaka... Oh, shit. Zakarin and Rossetto have attacked. Ah, shit. Uh, oh, Rafael Valls is fine. Oh, you love better pace to catch him. To catch them. Like, I'm not kidding. Gasparotto, you better pace to catch these two dickheads. Right, we're going to start the final climb today. The uh, climb of Zaratamo. Uh, I'm afraid I'm going to use too much energy here. I'm also going to make sure that my uh, peloton riders, in, i.e. Payable Bao and, um, and Domino Caruso, are fine. We managed to catch Zacharin and Rossetto. Okay, how should I play this then? Let's calm down and try to attack. Because I saw these guys weren't going to follow me here. Jan Tratnik has attacked with Stefan Rossetto in the wheel. I just need to make this climb. I literally just need to make this climb. Come on, Stefan, you can't relay me. Fuck you. I know you can't. Let's make sure what's happening in the peloton. Absolutely nothing. Great. Jan Tratnik and Stefan Rossetto will fight for the win today. We're also going to take the mountain point. The mountain jersey, sorry. Attack from Schachmann. Fuck you. Is Schachmann a, a danger in the GC? A la Philippe is. Fucking, fucking hell. Okay, I can't multitask here. Uh, so I'm gonna need to be smart. Jan Tradnik against Stefan Rossetto. We're going to lead the Frenchman. And we're gonna launch the sprint right now. Can we hold on until the line? Can Jan Tratnik grab the win today? The answer will be a big fat yes. For Jan Tratnik, who gets the win in Aria Gara, ahead of Stefan Rossetto and some riders in the break. But Julien Alaphilippe makes an incredible comeback in the GC to take the lead of this Italia Basque country. Wow. Uh, the peloton is won by Ryan Gibbons, ahead of Peyo Bilbao, uh, Tim Wellens, and the former leader, Richard Carapaz, dropping his uh, jersey for the Frenchman of the Quick Quickstep. Okay. Interesting. Really interesting. I didn't expect the gaps to be this huge in such a small climb. Alright, and with this win, uh, Jan Radnik 
is going to make a, a nice comeback in the GC, actually, I guess. No? Okay, no. Let's forget about what I said then. Um, the huge comeback in the GC is Julien Lafelipe, who comes from 8 to 1st. Maximum Schachmann um, also makes a nice comeback. Peter Bilbao is dropping two positions from 5th to 7th. Okay. Is there any stage in which Alaphilippe is going to lose time? The answer is a, is a huge no. Nice. Points wise, uh, points wise sorry, Sonic Robody retains the jersey. Mountain wise, we're currently tied with Stefan Rossetto with Jan Ratnik as we head towards Arate for the fifth stage of this Basque Country Tour. Alright, we're on the way for the fifth and penultimate stage of um, of this Italia Basque Country. Uh, interesting stage on the profile. A lot of points to be taken for the mountain classification. Uh, 35, if I recall correctly. Um, I'm interested in seeing one thing. Am I allowed to be in the break with Jan Tratnik? If the answer is yes, then it's it's great. If it's a no, I don't know how I'll be able to defend my jersey. Currently, three riders have attacked. Uh, I'm going to guess the number will increase. Nope, no, 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 not Google Bolle. If we could stay with a breakaway with like Luis Lan Sanchez, myself, uh, Luis Mate, Oscar Rizebeck, Stefan Rossetto, I will. I'm signing right now. Okay, FDG isn't happy with that. Neither is Carol or Burgos. So I'm gonna guess that them two are going to send someone in the break. Um, okay, who could FDG send? Oh, Yanni Hada goes in the break. Um, is uh, Juan Fernandez going to follow the attack or is he just chasing him down? I don't know yet. Kevin, Gen oh, if Kevin Junet goes in the break, like my life is great. Come on, send someone instead of pacing. Lads, I beg you just attack. I beg you attack. All right, we'll, we'll fast forward for a bit, um, making sure that we get the points in uh, the uh, climb of Morga. Morga. But there is a jersey to defend here. All right, it took much longer than expected, but we finally have a breakaway. And it's not a breakaway that I really like. Jan Hertz is here. Tim Wellens is here. Fabio Aru is here. Ignatas Kunovalava uh, is there. Christian Rodriguez, uh, Jesper Hansen, Sam Oman, Luis Luisan Sanchez, Christian Rodriguez, no, Oscar Rodriguez, sorry. And sadly, David Godu. My big man, why are you here? Why are you there? To quote Nepenthes, why are you there? And it's, I don't even think that was Nepenthes. I think that was Nick 2018, but that's a FIFA ref. Uh, but, like, genuinely, like, why the fuck are you here? You could fight for the win as, like, in the peloton. You don't need to, like, ruin my chances of winning the Polka Dot jersey with Jan Hatnik. The only thing good about that is that he's got a teammate in the rake. So he's never going to pace. Or at least he's, no go he's not going to actively pace in the first few hundred kilometers. So we should be good to go attack from Jan Hert. No, sorry, from Fabio Aru. What the fuck am I on about? And he's gone. He 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 left us. Jan Hatnik and Olaf Samoman. Samoman is going to try and come back on uh, Fabio Aru, but I'm not expecting any uh, sort of miracles from uh, uh, from the Dutchman. And uh, I mean, I did well not to expect any. We're still going to uh, come back on Fabio Aru here, and we're going to pace because there's a climb uh, very soon in less than five kilometers. Uh, and if we could have a seven men group instead of like eleven. The two riders of Astana are dropped alongside Samoman. Absolutely brilliant job. Well done. Climb of Bedarona. Uh, oh, we're going to accelerate with some of our guys because we are getting dropped on the flats and that's not nice. Jan Hatnik is going to take the wheel of someone this time. I don't know who. Uh, potentially Fabio Aru again. If I could come back a few more places, that'd be so great. We're going to follow Jan Hert. Let's follow Jan Hert. We've currently got 5 out of 6 points available today. I don't believe like we'll get any points here. Uh, I mean, I would be extremely surprised if we were to get any points. Oh, we might get 1. I think we got 1. Yeah, we got 1. We got 1 point. Alright, big up. Nice. Nice. Peloton, we're dropping, but we're still still well into the life. Big crash. Big, big crash involving Ryan Dennis. Adam Yates, but mainly Julien Lafilippe, the leader of the tour, has crashed. He's back on the bike 
Uh, I don't know if there's anyone retiring. Uh, it looks like Dianta is no. We've already got, we have already got one retirement today in Max Cantor, the sprinter of Sunweb. We well, yeah, got Crash by Julien Lafilippe. Uh, the entire team of De Konank and the team of uh, Mitchell and Scott are, have waited for their leader. The gap is two minutes with the peloton. I'm going to expect them to come back at one point. Uh, I'd be very surprised if they weren't coming back. Uh, but, I mean, it's a crash for the leader. It's never good. It's never a good sign. Right. The situation has really evolved over the past few kilometers. Uh, we've now started the first, first category climb today. The climb of Izua. Uh, and we're leading the peloton with Rafael Valls. Jan Khatnik is no more, he's been co-op, he was out of energy. We're pacing with Rafael Valls, with Colbrelli in the wheel, then Peo Bilbao, and then Damiano Caruso. We're going to change leadership. I believe it is in Bilbao's interest, sorry, in Caruso's best interest here to be the leader. Uh, he's reached his fitness peak, which I'm, I will admit, I timed it quite wrong, because it was meant to be Tirreno, not Paris Vasco, but why not? Uh, Colbrelli, though, doing a very solid job at the front. We're, I mean, we're losing uh, some meters, but it is Richard Carapaz pacing, so I mean, I'm expecting it. Uh, meanwhile, up ahead, uh, David Godu is still in the lead. I think if he takes first place at the Club of Izua, he will be on 13 points against Jan Tratnik's. Uh, I don't recall how many points he's got, but I think it's something around 23. Or 24. I'm gonna go on a limb and say 23. So he'd be 10 points behind me, which is actually calm. I'm fine with that. Uh, but we've done a very nice job. Sonny Colbrelli has made an incredible climb here towards Izua. We're gonna stop pacing because that's not my job now anymore. I'm not the leader. I don't have to do that. I was just pacing to make sure that um, Godu doesn't take too many points. Gap is in nine points in favor of Jan Tratnik um, ahead of David Godu. Decent. All right, we're going to start the Alto de Arate. Um, Colbrelli was meant to give me water. I'm not sure he's going to be able to do so. Uh, so we'll have to uh, to do the climb without any kind of uh, of hydration. And already some attacks. Boke Moloma, Enric Mas. Okay, this is starting really early. Much earlier than I hoped. Um, Colbrelli has managed to give water to Caruso and Bilbao. Big up. Okay, we're in the final positions of the peloton. Uh, but I... I do trust Bilbao in his abilities to come back. There we go. That's my boy. That a boy. Okay. Now, I need to remember that this climb, despite, like, being quite tough, doesn't, like, the, the summit of the climb isn't the finish of the race. There is a little, like, flat portion in which I could, like, try to come back or, like, try to maybe, I don't know, gain some time. Gain some time, sorry. Bilbao has been dropped. Caruso is still towards the... Uh, back end of this group uh i mean chris Froome is a good good rider much better than the minu caruso so it does make sense we're nearly at the summit we're nearly at the summit i just need to hold on for a few more meters there rudy Mollard doing a very good job as well um managing to hold on to everyone's wheels just don't attack no one of you's attack please i i beg we're nearly there we're nearly there Come on, Domino, you've got this. You've got this, you've got this, you've got this. No, I'm going to get dropped. I'm going to get dropped. I'm going to get dropped on the line. I'm going to get dropped. But I might not lose my... I'm not going to lose any time. The win today for Richard Carapaz ahead of Roglic, Alaphilippe, Enric Mas, Schachmann, uh, Buchmann Bernal, Froome Caruso, and Rudy Mollard. Okay. We've done well. We've managed to really, really limit the the loss here. Right, with that win, Richard Carapaz makes a nice comeback in the GC. He's now 18 seconds behind Alaphilippe uh, before the final stage. Domino Caruso uh, goes to 9th position. Peo Bilbao is dropped to 11th. Uh, I'm trying to see how I could improve my GC, but I don't, I don't know if I could, if I'm honest. Because tomorrow's stage isn't that hard. It's going to be interesting. I'll definitely be defending my uh, Polkadot jersey with Jan Tratnik. But without further ado, let's go. Ibar, Ibar, final stage of the Tupia Pass Country. We've got a top 10 to protect and a Polkadot jersey to gain. Alright. This is the final stage of this Vuelta Paisasco. It's Tupia Pass Country. 
uh, I still won't get around this name. We're going to get a breakaway once again with Jan Tratnik. Uh, and let's see if let's see if they allow Pierre Balbao in the break. Let's see. I don't I don't I thoroughly don't believe that they will. And I don't think thoroughly is the word uh, I should use here. But let's see. Let's see what happens. What's surprising is why the fuck is Jorge Cubero pacing for Burgos BH? That isn't something I expected. Okay. So Bilbao is done for. He's not going to be allowed to be attacked, uh, to be in the break, which makes sense. Um, who's that? Is that Zakarin? No, 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 no. I can't have that. I physically cannot have that. Pay your mate. You better do some work. We're going to need to catch these six blokes. Oh, actually, what is happening? What's happening here? Is Pierre Bilbao allowed in the break or is he not? Like, why is the best young rider somewhere? Like, who who even is the... Wait, who's the white jersey? Because I swear I saw him, like, borderline in the break. So I thought it was in Bernal, but it's not. Is it Enric Mas? Oh, it is. Wow. Uh, good work from Pierre Bilbao to catch these guys. Uh, good you as attacked. Shit. Shit and shit. Alright, go on, pay your mate. Just do your work, do your job, and we'll we'll give we'll give uh, Jan Tratnik uh, the points. If I can take two points with Jan Tratnik, that's a dub for me. Gigantic dub for Jan Tratnik. We'll only lose one point on uh, David Goody today. Well, at least on this climb. Okay. Buchmann just withdrew from the race. Emmanuel Buchmann is out of the race. Fucking hell. This this race is mad. Like, this race is genuinely nuts. Pierre Bilbao is dropped with Sonny Colbrelli. Uh Okay, they might come back. because I mean, there was 20 riders left in the peloton. So I'm going to hope that some of these guys come back. Is Casper Pedersen genuinely attacking? Okay. Uh, not a big fan of Marc Soler on his own in the lead. Uh, but, I mean... I'd be hoping that we'll catch him at one point, eventually. Come on, Bilbao and Colbert, mate. Will you bear, like, you two bear come back? Go on. And Radnik is doing fine. I do, I really want to get some points here with, uh, with Jan Radnik. And to get some points, I, I would love if Mihaly Kutkowski, Ron Dennis, Egan Bernal, Chris Froome, Richard Carapaz, Garen Thomas, Pavel Sivakov, even Basso, even Souza, all them cunts, if they could stop pacing for one little moment. Because Jan Tratnik has now used all his energy. We have no Jan Tratnik left in the peloton. Great. Great. We have no teammates left in the peloton. I honestly can't believe what's happening. There is genuinely a group of 17 riders with all the leaders and the entire team. Ineos. Like, every rider of Ineos is in this group. This is, it's just horrendous. You can't do anything against them. Like, they paced in the Azor Key. I had to be uh, pacing 95 just to, like, stay there. That's mad. Let me just see if there's anyone in the GC dropped, except Buchmann, obviously. Enric Mas is still here. Okay, no, everyone's there in the top 10. Alright. So Nicole Brady might be coming back at one point. Uh, he's alongside Lucas Hamilton, Roman Kroziga, Lucien Sonsej, and Michael Woods. So, I don't really, like, care about these these guys. I just want a teammate back with uh, with Domino. I did well to switch leaders. I think that was a wise decision. But we're about to start the climb of Karakate. Uh, Karakate, sorry. Five kilometers at a, an average gradient of 8.7. We're going to get ruined once again. Colbrelli will be protecting Damino Caruso. Hopefully, we'll be able to hold on. Alright, we've crossed the climb. Uh, we nearly crossed it. Garen Thomas has taken the lead in the mountain classification. Oh, fuck you. Crash of Kutkowski. 
I mean, honestly, I genuinely couldn't care less at this point. That's one less teammate for for um, Geraint Thomas and Carapaz and Froome and Bernal and all them all them guys. Uh, but I'm disappointed that Gary Thomas, like, uh, he took 20 points in those two climbs. Yeah, that's a shame. We have 1k left in this climb, and I'm genuinely gonna get dropped. This is peak. I hate this game. I I'm, I'm getting dropped here. Oh, Carapaz as well. Carapaz is slightly dropped here. Oh. Surely that means, like, they're gonna stop pacing. Oh, that means also there's no Ineos at the front again. Nice. I hate this. I hate this game so much. I hate the Mino Caruso and I hate Ineos. And the win today in Ibar will be for... Potentially Primoz Roglic? Nope. Maybe not. Maybe Julian Alaphilippe? Maybe Maximilian Schachmann to avenge uh, Buchmann? Nope, Alaphilippe gets the win ahead of Schachmann, Roglic, Mass, Yates, all them lot. Caruso loses two minutes and I lose everything. What a shit race. I hate this. I despise the Italia Basque country. I've never been good here. I'm, I'm triggered uh, and I'm sad. What a disappointment. What a disappointment. I, I, don't, I don't think I could have done anything different in this stage. I honestly don't think I could have. My team is just weak. I mean, it's not weak. It's weaker than Ineos. And I don't think that's my fault. Uh, it's just that Ineos are too good. They attacked here. Then here. And I just couldn't follow anymore. I just couldn't follow in the final climb. I lose 2 minutes 15 in in what, like, 12 kilometers, that's that's impressively high. GC-wise, we do retain the top 10, we, we stay in 9th position, Alaphilippe gets the dub, ahead of Roglic, Schachmann, Henrik Maas, Carapaz, Froome, Bernal, Molema, Caruso, and Formolo. Uh, I mean, points-wise, Alaphilippe wins the jersey, so we, oh, we lose everything. We have lost absolutely everything we lost points and mountain classification today wow wow i don't i don't recall having such a bad stage at one point in pcm in a long time well anyway uh that was it for this Paris vasco or it's a basque country uh, that's also it for today's episode of the Brian McLaren career mode. If you've enjoyed it, please, please do leave a like down below. The next episode will be, uh, Ronde van Vlanderen. Uh, no, no, the next episode will be, uh, Amstel, Flesh, and, uh, what's the, uh, the other one? Liege, Bastogne, Liege. There we go. Um, so yeah, hope you'll enjoy it. If you're new around here and, uh, watch my content and want to watch more of my content, sorry, then please, please do subscribe to the channel down below. Leave a like if you've enjoyed the video. If you didn't, and then leave a dislike, I suppose. And tell me why in the comments. I'm always willing to improve my videos. Uh, and yeah, I shall see you in the very near future. I have been Black War. It's been an absolute pleasure talking to you today, guys. And goodbye. Pull up, pull up in the cold, I'm bleeding. But the mother man need feeding. I don't want to go bombi. Them, I don't know what I do when I go from bleeding. In the pack in black and I'm on with the bass Snapping with a phone and dab I'll stop a man with a duster Put him in a drip and sip blockbuster